My personal experience with stress in agriculture is my father took his life. Uh, it was a stressful, stressful life that he had and he poured everything that he had into the farm, into our family. And it, it caught up to him. And I think he was in a place where he was, he felt alone and he felt that he wasn't uh, providing for us the way that the way that we deserved. And we saw it differently. I'm Nick Hazenkamp. I am the second oldest of seven kids, grew up on a farm in South uh, Nemaha County. So my father was, was actually born on the farm. He was literally born and raised uh, and, and spent his entire life on this farm. We didn't really know that there was a problem. Um, we became aware of, of the issue. My brother found some, uh, the things would indicate that things were pretty serious. We really sought the help and, and the support and try to find the resources to help improve his mental condition. I like to say we, the reason it happened was because we didn't think it was going to happen. When my dad had passed, when he took his life, it, in a very short period of time, we had to determine, and really my mom had to determine how we keep this legacy moving forward. Ben was 19, Josh was 11, and mom was now a widow of seven kids. Me and my older brother, we were off in our jobs. You know, that wasn't the path that we were going down was to take over the farm. So they, my younger brothers, for now close to 12 years, have been carrying the torch and have been leading this farm and managing this farm to what it is today. I see depression, I see specifically suicide very, very differently now that it's impacted us. And I, I think there's there's the stigma of, you know, pick yourself up by the bootstraps and let's move forward. And this is a population and a culture that they pride themselves on the hard work that they do. And when we have a problem that we can't outwork, we just kind of forget about it. What happens is, is we continue to, to bury our emotions, we continue to bury our problems and they don't get addressed. I would say if, if you're struggling with mental health or if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts specifically, my advice is to receive the help. Be willing to reach out and let somebody know you're struggling with something because there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of resources out there that are willing to, to come together, receive that gift. One of the biggest challenges is people think that they have to be alone in this, that they are alone, and that's not true. It's the furthest from the truth. If you're under the impression that you have a family member or a friend that's struggling with that as well, we have to be able to offer help. We have to be able to bring that to the front and have honest conversations with them. Our identity and our worth is not tied up in money or assets or the result of a crop. That's, that's not our identity. The value of their life is, is what matters.